We are now just one week away from the great American solar eclipse, the path of totality, where the sky will go completely dark, will stretch from Texas to Maine. But we, too, will be able to see the partial eclipse. Tonight, 10 Tampa Bay's Chris Hurst spoke to an expert at NASA about the big event while in town to throw out the first pitch at the Rays game. As Tropicana Field eclipsed a setting sun, NASA Associate Director Bert Summerfield was getting ready not only for his first pitch, but for the solar eclipse, only a week away. You see it, you understand it, you know what the impact of it was on you personally. The total eclipse will be visible from Texas to Maine. Floridians will have to wait more than 20 years for a full view. But all of us, including people here in Florida, will get a chance to experience the eclipse. So what is it going to look like for us in Tampa Bay? Well, the action will begin after lunch, around 1.45 in the afternoon. It's going to take about 90 minutes for the moon to cover the sun at its maximum for us. That's about 65% reduction in sunlight. It'll look like dusk for about a half an hour. And then this is interesting. The moon actually isn't going to pass straight over the sun, but actually will go up in our view before the eclipse is over after 4. We won't see another one like this for until 20.45. While the moon rarely overshadows the sun, it's all NASA can think about as it continues plans for the first manned space mission to the moon since 1972. Obviously, the crews were there and they left, uh, but it's not where our goal is today. And that's to establish a permanent base on the moon. So consider the eclipse only a preview of the moon taking some of the sun's spotlight in Florida. Next year, the moon takes center stage. In St. Petersburg, Chris Hurst, 10 Tampa Bay. It really is fun to watch here. Every time there is an eclipse, we warn about the importance of using proper protection when viewing. But sometimes the certified glasses can be hard to come by. So here's how to make sure your own viewing box with simple household items. Time is running out to get your solar glasses for safe viewing of the great American eclipse. Those shades are the only way to look directly at the sun without seriously damaging your eyes. But if you can't get your hands on those, you can make an Eclipse pinhole projector box at home, which can be a fun project for the whole family. Here's what you'll need. A cereal box, aluminum foil, white paper, tape, a push pin, and scissors. Step one, trace the bottom of the cereal box on a piece of white paper and cut the paper out. Step two, Tape the paper to the inside of the bottom of the box and seal the top. Step three, cut two rectangular holes into the top left and right of the box. Step four, cut a piece of aluminum foil to cover the left hole and tape in place. Step five, poke a pinhole in the center of the foil. And finally, turn your back to the sun and look into the right hole. You will watch a projection of the eclipsed sun on the paper inside of the box. Happy viewing and remember, never look directly at the sun with the naked eye.